In this video, we will do the pre-flight checklist and Active Directory preparation for the Mac scenario with Centrify Suite 2014. I've created a checklist because it's important to know all the things that you need to have ready for to be successful. In terms of knowledge, you need to know, uh, you have to know your ba basic Active Directory um, and uh, have a basic knowledge of Macs, as well as understanding how group policy works. Group policies are basically um, Active Directory objects that allow us to enforce uh, security policies and configuration management. And the Centrify agent basically is able to process Active Directory group policies with a virtual group policy uh, engine that it has. You will we'll need a Windows 7 machine. Uh, I have a Windows 7 machine in here, but you could use it on a server. The most important thing is that we need to have uh, Active Directory used on computers and group policy management installed before we put in the Centrify uh, Suite uh, Access Manager. And uh, in the case of um, uh, Windows 7 machine, we need the RSAT. That's Remote Server Administration Tools. And it's easily downloadable by, by just uh, Googling uh, RSAT and Windows 7 right here. And uh, uh, we need an OU. And we'll be creating that OU. And we're going to delegate access to our Mac administrators so they can join machines. Uh, we need to have help from the uh, the AD administration. Uh, you can see that I'm uh, I'm logged in here as Jerry, so I'm already him. Uh, and this is because we're keeping separation of duties. Typically, AD activities are performed by the AD administrator. Even if we delegate the ability to do group policies to uh, a desktop team, for example, we're going to create a GPO, and uh, you know we're going to make sure that uh, Larry David, who's our uh, Mac administrator. Um, you know, is a member of the uh, uh, Mac admins group. Uh, for uh, we need a regular user. Uh, we're going to use David Putty for that, uh, and this user needs to have a home directory. Uh, we're going to be mapping home directories. We need to have the knowledge of uh, uh, files share in the network and a printer. So all those items are already done, and then we'll talk about some advanced scenarios later. But we need to have the Microsoft CA uh, issuing certificates for that. So. Uh, without uh, further ado, let's get started. And um, you know, first uh, we said that we're going to do the um, making sure that ADUC is installed. So here I have Active Directory user and computers. I'm going to go ahead and launch it. Um, and as you can see here, I have access to do a lot of things. So the first thing I need to do is uh, is create a Mac OU. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and create a new OU. And I'm going to make it call Mac. Inside that OU, uh, just like you've seen in some uh, may, uh, before, some videos before, we have to create a licenses container because that is where uh, 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 Centrify puts the license in. So we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, you know create another OU. I call it licenses. And in this case, we're going to uh, create a, basically um, another OU for the Macs it's themselves. And because they're corporate Macs, we're going to call, call it corporate Macs. And we're going to create one. And this is going to be a placeholder for a future set of videos. We're going to call it BYOD. This is because we're going to have different set of, sets of rules for corporate-owned Macs as well as BYOD. So let's go back and check my, my checklist. Okay, I have now to delegate um, to the uh, Mac admins group first. Let me go ahead and find if I do have that. I think I did create that. Uh, I should have a groups OU and in here I have Mac admins. And if I look in here inside, I have Larry David. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delegate access to allow our friend uh, uh, from the Mac OU, um, from the Mac admins group to um, to join computers. So I'm going to go ahead and add, and uh, in here it's going to be Mac. So there's Mac admins here. I'm going to do next, and we're going to create a custom task to let task to, to delegate. Uh, actually, it may be uh, in the list in here. So let's go ahead and do that. 
and uh, only objects in here. So computer objects, I'm going to allow um, uh, them to create and delete objects. That will give them the ability to join computers to this particular OU. And, um, and uh, we're gonna basically give them the ability to read um, the properties in here. So, um, and that's it. So uh, now we've made sure that the Mac administrators have the ability to incorporate join machines. And uh, if I look in here, if I do view advanced features, and I go back to my Mac OU, go to corporate properties, and I do object, go to security. I should have Mac admins with some set of uh, special permissions here. Next, uh, let me take, take my checklist here, take a look. All right, so we need a GPO linked to, um, to that OU and we need to delegate access to the Mac admin. So let's go ahead and create that GPO. We need G a group policy management for that. We're gonna go ahead and open it. We're gonna browse to the actual domain and then to the OU. So in here, I'm gonna go in corporate. I'm gonna create a, a GPO and link it there. Let's call it Mac corporate settings. And um, that will create my GPO. And all I need to do is, in this case, go ahead and um, delegate. So all I need to do is go to the delegation tab in here, add the principal in this case, Mac admins, which contain Larry David. And I'm gonna allow them to do everything with it. So I'm gonna edit, delete, modify, and whatnot. If they delete it, they get in trouble with the AD admin, so they'll have to come back to us. Uh, let's take a look at the other item. So we have uh, Larry David belongs to that. To test SSO, I need a home directory for David Putty. Want to make sure that uh, David Putty has a home directory set up. So I'm going to go ahead and find David Putty. And in here in the profile tab, you can see that he has a directory. If I look on the network, this should be on my app one. Notice that we have home, and there you go. Everybody has uh, their home directory in there, so we should be fine with that. Uh, we should need a shared folder. You already saw that. We're gonna use the files folder. We, we could actually use our Ubuntu machine that is uh, as well, so uh, files. There you go, we have that in there. Um, we have a Samba share as well. We could use that. Uh, I think it's in Ubu One. So Ubu One. Let's take a look. I have to check that virtual machine. So Microsoft CA configured to issue computer certificates. This is easy to check. This may may be a little bit advanced, but uh, all we need to do is launch an MMC and uh, we're gonna add uh, a template to it. Uh, snap in and this is going to be for certificates if uh, everything is set up correctly in the CA this machine should have its own certificate under the personal node so let's take a look there you go this client one has its certificate and it's very reliable this lab is based on the Microsoft test lab test lab guide but I'm gonna go ahead and take a look first I'm gonna delete the certificate and I'm gonna run a CMD as um, you know, as an administrator, and I'm gonna see if I can pulse it and, and, and see if I can get a, a new certificate to make sure that auto enrollment is working. So uh, this may be a little bit advanced, so I'm gonna do a cert util minus pulse. And if that worked the way correctly supposed to work, I should have a new certificate in here. Do a refresh. I don't see it, so I may have to troubleshoot it. Um, let's go ahead and do uh, a GP update uh, force. And let's take a look. Take 
Go up and refresh. There you go, certificates, and there, there it is. So yeah, everything is working fine, and uh, all the prerequisites are ready. Uh, in the next video, I'll install the Centrify console and initialize it as uh, Larry David. Thank you.